Hello and welcome to Cricket House Gaming. Here at Cricket House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. We are going to be continuing our gameplay as Chancellor of Germany. When I hit that button, we will be entering our first term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. And livestock imports. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. One of our neighboring countries has had a publicly announced case of foot and mouth disease in its cattle. Although the chances of the disease being spread to us is very low. You're being lobbied by farmer groups to ban the import of cattle from that country as a precaution. Reject the ban. There is no statistic or scientific basis for a blanket ban on livestock imports from that country. The outbreak is highly contained and poses little real risk. This is an unpopular move overseas, which will be seen as blatant protectionism. This would be an unfair and unjustified embargo of foreign goods. Approve the ban. It's just not worth the risk, however slight it may be, of us importing this disease into our country. The only way to deal with it is a mass slaughter of cattle, and our agricultural industry would not survive that. This may seem overcautious, but it is better to be safe than sorry. If the situation was reversed, they would do the same to us. We are going to approve the ban. The farmers are happy at plus 16%. Foreign relations is down at negative 13%. International trade is down at negative 5%. And the food price increases at plus 4%. Budget report. There is a budget deficit of 17.93 billion euros. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls report. Your approval rating is disappointing. If we believe the polls, you would get just 33% of the vote. Election report. Our party, the New Right, is getting more popular. In the last quarter, we added 1,170,960 new members and 83,640 new activists. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. We have have 14 political capital to spend. City farms. Many people would love to buy fresh produce from farmers directly, but living in the city, this is often a hassle to drive out to the countryside, so why not bring some farmers to the cities directly? This program helps ambitious farmers to establish farms in and around cities so they can be close to their consumers and it will get some of the city kids to consider a career in farming. This is 96% popular with the vote. This will lower our food price that just increased due to us rejecting imports of livestock from that country that had foot and mouth disease. Let us implement this policy. We are going to leave it at medium. We are going to apply the changes. We have 11 political capital to spend. Tobacco tax. Despite the failure of tobacco companies to admit it, there is a good reason to believe that smoking has a negative effect on health. This is used as a justification for taxing tobacco. Cynics point out that the government benefits hugely from a tax on a product it's supposedly against. Health campaigners encourage the tax as the way to encourage a more healthy population. This is 0% popular with the vote. We are presently at 18%. We are going to spend 8 political capital to increase the tobacco tax to 25%. We will apply the changes. We have 3 political capital to spend. Alcohol awareness campaign. Alcohol can be dangerous even in moderation to raise awareness of that. This campaign will show all the trouble that alcohol can get you into from ruined friendships over accidents and addiction to sickness and death. Certainly not a happy topic but it is always better to have your mood dampened a little now and stay sober than to suffer big time later. This is 50% popular with the vote. Right now, it is low. We will invest one political capital to increase this to medium. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Capital gains tax. This CGT is a tax levied on non-salary income such as stock market profits and shared dividends and the profits from selling property or other assets. Primarily, it affects the wealthy and business owners. It will raise more money if the economy is booming because if it taxes profits from investment, it also acts as a slight deterrent to investment and thus is a detriment to the economy. This is 37% popular with the vote. Right now it is at 15%. We will spend two political capital to increase this to 19%. The income that we gain from this will be 5.7 billion euros. Let us apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our first term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the 
the second term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Regional war. War has broken out in a neighboring country, causing tension along our border with them. We are seeing an influx of refugees as well as trade being stemmed. There are also concerns that a conflict in such close proximity will reduce the stability of our own nation. Immigration is up at plus 25%. Patriot membership is up at plus 8%. Business confidence is down at negative 11%. Stability of our country is down at negative 11%. Illegal immigration is up at plus 25%. Credit rating upgraded. The major international credit agencies have increased the credit worthiness of your government. This is great news. It should result in lower interest rates for our debt. It may also result in a boost to the GDP for a higher level of confidence by foreign investors. This news is also likely to please capitalist voters. Your current credit rating is now a triple A. Capitalists are happy at plus 5%. The GDP is up at plus 3%. Business confidence is up at 15%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Illegal immigration crisis on our hands if we do not act soon. Polls report. Your approval rating is disappointing. If we believe the polls, you would get just 14% of the vote. Election report. Our party, the new right, is getting more support in the last quarter. 763,130 new people signed up to be members. Numbers. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Budget report. Budget surplus is 567.64 million euros, but this is too small to act as a trigger to raise spending or cut taxes. We have 13 political capital to spend. We have an illegal immigration crisis on our hands. Border controls without some sort of customs checks at the borders, your country is open to a problem of mass illegal immigration. Some people argue that these immigrants cause crime, others that they take jobs away from your own citizens. Border controls can be effective in reducing illegal immigration. This is 6% popular with the vote. Right now we have biometric checks. We are going to spend 11 political capital to put armed guards on our borders. This will lower our illegal immigration. This will increase our patriot membership. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Citizenship tests are a way of ensuring that people migrating to our country have a demonstrable understanding of our culture and history. This lessens the chance of a clash of cultures for newcomers to the country, encouraging integration and reassures the patriotic members of society that they need not fear immigration. This is 7% popular with the vote. Right now it is high. We are going to use two political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have zero political Political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our second term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the third term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. Unemployment is up. Illegal immigration crisis. There has been a large rise in the extent of illegal immigration which may be cause for concern and social upheaval. Illegal immigration crisis. Even the toughest regime and border controls find it difficult to completely stop and illegal immigration and people smuggling, although it, it will not stop governments from trying. Undocumented immigrants mean a boost to population without corresponding rise in tax revenue to pay for the increased pressure on public services. This can cause social unrest and other problems. Expand public rights of way. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. As we build more houses in our country, once open land that was used by walkers and hikers is increasingly becoming closed off and considered private property. So Socialist campaigners have protested these changes and are calling for an expansion to protect public rights of way. Take no action. Private land is private land, regardless of whether it is farmland, industrial land, or somebody's garden or yard. The idea that because people have taken a certain path for many years that they have the right to trespass on private property is ridiculous. There are plenty of public roads and parks that people can make use of. Expand rights of way. So much of our country is now private property that people's access to open countryside is worryingly restricted. Does it really matter to a farmer if a few walkers and hikers occasionally cross their land on a designated footpath? We should ensure that open countryside and footpaths are easily accessible to everyone. We are taking no action. The farmers are happy at plus 8%. The socialists are unhappy at negative 6%. Polls report. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 
21% of the vote in an election. Economic forecast, good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Cabinet report, the loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Budget report, the budget has a small surplus of 8.69 billion euro, but this is tiny compared to the overall government spending. We have 13 political capital to spend. We have an illegal immigration crisis. Border Navy, border walls cannot work in an ocean. So equivalent means of deterring illegal immigration for islands and nations with extensive coastline is to invest in patrol boats that intercept and send back any ships carrying illegal immigrants. This is 16% popular with the vote. This will lower our illegal immigration. This will lower our foreign relations. We will not be seen as compassionate. This will increase our patriot membership. We are implementing our border navy. We are going to invest a little bit in this. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Welfare fraud department. When government gives so much money out in welfare payment, it is essential that the money is correctly targeted and not exploited by people making spurious claims. Dedicated fraud department will detect false claimants, recover lost money, and reassure middle income taxpayers that their taxes are being spent wisely. Although it can antagonize legitimate claimants, this is 60% popular with the vote. Right now we have TV ad campaigns. We are going to invest one political capital to increase our TV ad campaigns. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our third term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the fourth term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. Unemployment is up. Improved tenancy rights. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There is currently a proposal to increase the rights of tenants in rented accommodation. The fear of becoming suddenly thrown out of your home or having rent raised to unaffordable levels or waiting ages for repairs is making rented accommodation extremely undesirable and tenants are demanding something is done. Keep the current rights. The rental market is a good example of a free market where landlords will compete for the best tenants and the tenants can pick and choose their homes based on price, location, and reputation. There is no need for further burdensome legislation here. If tenants find a landlord to be offering bad service, they are free to move to other premises. Improved tenant rights. Many people can simply not afford the deposit to buy a house and are resigned to renting their whole lives. The lack of decent protections from random eviction or rent increase means these people never have peace of mind or stability that their homeowners enjoy. Landlords who take their duties seriously have nothing to fear from the sensible improvements to the law. We are keeping the current rights. The poor are unhappy at negative 6%. The socialists are unhappy at negative 5%. The capitalists are happy at plus 5%. The wealthy are happy at plus 5%. Polls report your approval rating is disappointing. If we believe the polls, you would get just 28% of the vote. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. The effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Budget report. The budget surplus is 8.69 billion euro, but this is too small to act as a trigger to raise spending or cut taxes. We have 13 political capital to spend and we have a very angry minister. Our transportation minister is very, very angry. Let's take a look at her. Ilona Huffman is very angry and it will take zero political capital to fire her. She is with the trade unionists in the parents. Let us fire her. Let us hire someone suitable for the job. Sabine Sedel, we are going to hire her. She's with the Patriots and the retired. We also have a law and order minister who is very unhappy. She's with the youth and the commuter. Her name is Lena Martin. We're firing her. Hunter Jaeger is with the middle income and the conservatives. We will be hiring him for law and order. The welfare minister is now unhappy, but I am not firing her. We have 13 political capital to spend. We do have an uncompetitive economy. This is affecting our productivity. Technology grants. The government can provide state funding to encourage business to invest in new and exciting technologies. Although this helps give us a competitive advantage and can create jobs, it can be argued that this is an unnecessary distortion of the market. This is 100% popular with the vote. This will improve our GDP. This will improve our productivity. This will lower unemployment and this will improve our technology. We are going to spend two political capital to increase this to high. We will apply the changes. We have 11 political capital to spend. Border controls without some sort of customs checks at the borders. Your country is open to the problem of mass illegal immigration. Some people argue that these immigrants cause crime. Others that they take jobs away from your own citizens. Border controls can be effective in reducing illegal immigration. 
population. This is 5% popular with the vote. We presently have armed guards. We are going to invest six political capital. To increase our armed guards at the border, we will apply the changes. We have five political capital to spend. Solidarity tax, a top up to income tax that is particular to Germany and which was introduced to help cover the costs associated with the reunification of East and West Germany and the need to upgrade the infrastructure throughout East Germany. This is 18% popular with the vote. Presently, it is high. We are going to spend five political capital to increase this. The income gained from this will be 15.57 billion euro. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our fourth term of our third year as Chancellor of Germany and thus we are at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.